Ryan Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. You ever notice that every day something happens on this show? Every Oh, there he is. There's Mike Sempervivi. He has just now hey, showed up after we'd already gone on the air. No, that's not true. Actually, that is true. I'm watching nah, I've been signed your in for video a while now. right Let's now. Let's just get to it. Uh, Mike, don't lie to the people. I had your channel on the entire time, and I'm watching the video right here. You weren't here until literally I started talking about where you were. So what? I'm here now. All right, I'll mute you for a second. You're going to be all angry about it. So anyway, uh, the big story today, in the wake of new AEW signee Adam Cole revealing this past weekend his WWE contract ended earlier than he expected, Kevin Owens finds himself in a similar situation. Fightful first reported, we have independently confirmed Owens' WWE contract expiring January 31, 2022, due to a pre-pandemic restructuring of contracts. Oops! At LaProd reported the restructuring was in the wake of both WWE's Fox debut and new contracts with both Fox and NBC Universal. Other talents are in a similar situation with the restructuring have yet to be identified. Owens said in a May 2018 interview with LaProd, he inked a five year deal that ran into 2023. On Tuesday, Owens posted and then deleted a tweet of coordinates to Mount Rushmore which fans took as a possible nod to a future in AEW as a landmark shares the name of its former PWG faction with Young Bucks and Cole. He also changed his Twitter location to Almost There. The 37-year-old born Kevin Steen has been in WWE since 2014 when he started in NXT, held the Universal title, Intercontinental title, United States and NXT title. I don't know if you guys are aware of this or not, but I wrote an article for Sports Illustrated yesterday. It's available on my Twitter right now at Brian Alvarez. But I noted in that article that something that WWE has always said is that perception is reality. Well, what is the perception right now? The reality is that WWE is fine, and they're making untold millions of dollars, and they have gigantic television deals, and they have absolutely no danger of being in any financial problems whatsoever in the foreseeable future. But what is the perception? The perception is everybody's fleeing this place. That is the perception. How many people have we seen leave WWE and they show up on, on AEW television? How many people have we seen leave AEW and show up on WWE? Oh, zero? It is literally 100% one way right now. The perception is that wrestlers are fleeing this company to go to AEW. And you know what WWE doesn't like? They don't like the perception that everyone is fleeing to go to the other, country, uh, the other company. And it's not just like, oh, this person was in NXT, or this person was a, a job guy they ran after the 24-7 title. No, uh, the, the number one draft pick... If this were like a real sport, your your four year top star in your developmental brand, he didn't go to the main roster. He left and went to the other company. You developed him for four years for the competition. Then of course there's Daniel Bryan, and of course CM Punk has been gone for a while. But I mean, if you look at pro wrestling in 2010, Daniel Bryan and CM Punk are two of the biggest stars in pro wrestling in the 2010s. And they left, and they went the other way. And nobody's going towards WWE. My point is, I would not say it is 100% that Kevin Owens is going to AEW. Because I would bet, I don't know this, but I would bet that they are going to throw a lot of money at this guy. And they are going to throw a lot, a lot of money at anybody whose contract is coming due early and could conceivably jump to the other side with everyone else. So it'll be an interesting story to follow. It'll be interesting to see what they do with him on television. And it will be interesting to see what kind of offer he gets come the next few months leading to January 2022. Wonder about his friend Sami Zayn. His contract, uh, I heard there were rumblings that it was at the end of this year where that could be up. So if that is the case... I'm sure you can add that name to the list of people that AEW fans would love to see come over and show their wares. So, again, I, I don't know where either one of those contracts stand. Obviously, now it's looking like January for Kevin Owens. And as you mentioned, uh, 
possibility of him going the other way and what that can mean to WWE and perception of WWE. It's not very good. Remember Malachi Black, how they set him up. He walks out and becomes a big star, at least as it stands right now in AEW. So the names are, are you know, starting to uh, roll up there and none bigger than Daniel Bryan and CM Punk. But uh, it'll be interesting with Steen and Generico if they decide to go in that direction. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.